Hi and welcome to this tutorial of Fractal Architect 3D. Uh, this is the first of the more in-depth tutorials I'm going to make. So let's dive into the application and start. I would Today I would like to take a closer look at the random generation settings. So I click the random generation settings here. Uh, as you can see when you start the application, it's a core 3D set and you have carioid and hemisphere here right now and if you think that that doesn't look too hot not very interesting a very easy and fast way to beef these fractals up is to add some symmetry so I add minus 3 symmetry and some random chaos and I try again And as you can see, the results are a bit different, and I think this generates more interesting fractals. Let's say take another roll. Yeah, definitely more interesting fractals, and that's an easy way to uh, change boring fractals into interesting ones. This one looks rather nice. You have a slight shadow underneath here too. Real 3D. Yeah. Let's stash that one. And we can try some plus. 7 plus. And you get a little more flowery fractals. These look very much like a flower. And this is a 3D set now. So if I want to play a bit with this uh, 3D wise. The best way to do it is to open it in the preview window and open the toolbox and 3D and the camera settings and start playing with these sliders. You don't get the immediate change as you do in some other fractal apps, but you get far better detail in the previews. Uh, I think I would like to uh, zoom into that a bit. Like that. And I can, I can uh, add some depth of field here. Like this rather a lot of depth of field yeah you can see the further away you get the more blurred it gets and you can set this set point here where it starts to get blurred if I increase, uh, decrease this value this will get more uh, detailed and clear yeah and if I increase it Everything will get blurred as I probably set it too high there. Yes, I did. And it can be a, a bit fiddly to find a good point of this set position. Let's start by making our own variation set here. Uh, here we can switch between sets that we have. The Core 3D and the Flame 3 Legacy set comes default, and these are sets that I have made. Let's make another one. I can go here, and I can choose that I want a, a 3D set. And it comes pre-populated with some 3D variations that need to be there. Uh, you can set the ordering here of the uh, pre and post variations. The pre-variations get uh, executed before the main calculation of the fractal and the post variations after the main calculation of the fractals. Here you can see the maximum uh, amount, uh, number of uh, variations you can have, 128. But this slot here will get uh, filled up much quicker than this one. And this is the uh, total number of parameters that you have. Uh, you can see here that that they differ from 0 to 9 or even 10 in some cases. 
you don't ex automatically get uh, more interesting variations just because you have more parameters in it. Some of the most beautiful the ones have zero parameters. But this one will fill up much quicker than this one. And you just choose what you want here. Let's see here. Let's take some virus and draw it. I uh, hold down the command key and I can select several. B collide, yeah, blade, no, not blade. Uh, blob 3D and bubble VF and checks. And we can try some uh, cloverleaf VF and Cubit lattice and DC bubble. Uh, the DC variations, DC stands for direct coloring, and it gives a more. They give a more uh, banded uh, color scheme. What is it? Scheme, scheme or scheme? I'm not sure. I'm Swedish. Well, anyway, DC cylinder and E collide. I like E Julia and I like Fall of Three and one of the Glinsim and Glinia perhaps and let's take Julia 3D said is very beautiful and what ordinary Julia what ordinary Julian uh, I want ordinary Julia scope uh, let's take Mobius and let's take Perspective Polar 2 and some post and priest stuff here. Post, post what? Post Carl and Post Julian 2. And we have some pre. Where are the pre's? Here are the pre's. I want Post Mirror too. Post Mirror X and Y. And pre curl and pre polar two. Pre rotate Z. How much do we have now? One hundred one. We can take some some more. Swell so two, three D. Mm. Split and splits. Split generally get give more interesting results. So let's take split. Waffle and. Uh, Waves 3D, and X Heart and Whirl and Wedge Julia. That's enough, I think. Uh, you don't have to fill up all these slots. You could actually stop before. Let's call it Mixed Set 3. And I hit uh, Enter and I click the Make Variation Set. If I want to start making fractals with this variation set, I have to switch to it. We still had a core 3D here, so let's take mix set 3 and use that. And a good way to start to find interesting variations or fractals uh, that I often use is to use one simple uh, variation as a main variation. Let's take the Julia 3 Z uh, by its own. Let's reset the symmetry to 0. Uh, by its own, it looks like something like this. Now it has to compile the variation set, but that's pretty fast. This is the Julia 3D Z. That's very beautiful. One of the hard things to do in this tutorial is that, is that I have to be pretty quick to get everything I want to say within 15 minutes. And there are just so many interesting things to stop at. And just look at. I like that one. Let's stash it. Well, if I want to vary that now and get something a bit more interesting, the best way is to use link transforms. I set here how many link transforms I want. I want two, and then I decide what uh, link transforms I want to link. This is a liner. If I click that one, the liner. Transform will shape the Julia, and you say you get more complex variations or uh, fractals. Excuse me. 
and I can choose something else. Let's choose six. Let's see what that will bring. That one looks interesting. Takes a little bit longer to calculate. And then I go through different variations to use as a link uh, to this Julia. I can, of course, have more than one uh, variation here. Let's let's try Glinsim one. And Glinsim one, you see, both Glinsim one and Julia have pluses after the name. That indicates that they are parameters to change. And here are the bottom four parameter ranges. I can see that the Julia power will vary between minus 20 and 20. I could go overboard and use minus 8000 or oh, plus 8000 and minus 8000. And uh, let's uncheck the Glen Sim so you can see the effect. And what that will do is that it will most often make the threads thicker. You can see some threads are very thick here and some are quite narrow. But 8000 was obviously too much. So make, let's make a smaller experiment with this. You could find, you should find that um, a lot of variations needs different settings on these uh, parameters to look their best. This is 800. Still not so good, I think. No. Let's bring it down to 20 again. 20. And minus 20. And you can go lower too. Let's see. Yes, that's better. That's much better. You should obviously not use too high values on the uh, Julia 3D Z. Uh, let's look at the final X form here. Uh, the link transforms shape the normal transforms, and the final X form shape the final output of the these variations and the final shape of the fractal. Um, I have here now uh, Julia 3D Z and I have linked that to uh, E Julia. I have minus 3 symmetry. If I now want to add a final X form here, I check this add final X form and uh, I choose and final X form to use. Liner comes preset. Let's look at how that will change things yeah you, you can see that that will generate some interesting fractals and you can experiment with different variations to use as a final X form you can have several variations if I use both liner and uh, uh, X heart how would that look oh Strange things happening in fractal land. But oh, that one, <laughs> that one would look. That one looks great. Really great. And that's way out there. <laughs> Let's dash that one. This is uh, just a, a little bit of what everything that you can do in this uh, settings box and uh, there are a lot more things to be said about this but um, I think that is about what we have time to talk about this time so keep rolling those virtual dices and we'll be back for more in-depth tutorials thank you